Sarah's experiences usually consist of images, videos, icons, and more, but how do you get those assets into your experiences? In this lesson, we'll explore just that and how to replace, duplicate, and manipulate your assets in Studio. To follow along with this lesson, go ahead and upload the build along experience to your account. Since we're working with an existing template, most of the changes we'll make will simply be to replace an existing image or video. However, you can pull in your own assets if you want to create an entirely new section. The recommended way to get your content into the studio is to drag and drop any images, GIFs, or video files from your desktop directly onto the canvas. As you can see, these assets will populate in the Layers panel as well as on your canvas. They can then be moved around to fit your design. In addition to dragging and dropping your assets onto the canvas, you can copy and paste assets from external sources like Photoshop, Illustrator, and Sketch. You also have the ability to copy objects from one Seros experience and paste them into another. This helps ensure continuity between multiple experiences or just helps save some time during the build process. To use the Replace Asset feature we mentioned earlier, simply right-click on the object you want to replace, then select Replace Image from the drop-down menu. This will place the new image or video in the exact location of the original and will apply any animations or interactions from the original file. Beyond changing the layout or size of your asset, you can adjust an image's attributes like brightness, contrast, hue, and more directly from the Design tab. To access further editing tools, right-click on an image. In this drop-down menu, you can flip the image and remove the background to create transparent backgrounds. As you add assets to your canvas, it's important to try to stay as organized as possible. When applicable, you can group individual elements together or simply organize multiple objects into different folders. This will become increasingly important as we move on to creating interactions and animations in a later lesson. In the next video, we'll explore adding animations to objects within your experiences.